Hi, I'm Pam from Pam I Am, and this week I'm going to start decluttering. Uh, if you want to come along with me and declutter as I do, feel more than welcome. Today I'm going to declutter two drawers in my kitchen, probably less of a declutter and more of a rearrange, but obviously there's going to be stuff that's going to come out of them. So let's have a look at the drawers I'm going to start with and what I'm going to be doing. So this drawer is just full of stuff that we don't really use all that often. Salad bowls, bamboo steamer, there's a roast plate, uh, for some reason a microwave plate, you know, sushi roller, just things we don't really use as often as we could. So that drawer is going to be cleaned out and moved to this drawer. This is all, yes, I know, yikes. This is our herbs and spices drawer. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was a really good idea to put them all in the bottom drawer of the cabinet. But thinking about it, listening to a few, few decluttering podcasts, talking about prime real estate in your kitchen, I realized that this was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Well, there's been a few in my life, but this is up there with them. So I'm going to be emptying this drawer and moving it over to the other drawer. And what's in the other drawer, I will go through and move to this one. Don't forget, I'm also going to have to check expiry dates on everything that comes out of here because probably a lot of it is expired. So if you want to declutter your spice cabinet, feel free to join in. All right, I'll see you in a second. Preparation is absolutely key. So for me, that's going to be two weeks before with Leah's stuff because she's already packing a week before we go. Right, so this is what I'm listening to yeah, while I'm working. Really oh, we'll check with them. It's okay. Yeah. Excellent. So um, what, what else? Oh my gosh. Are you doing as well? Sorry, I'll fit for purpose. Why are they not changing?
So now that that's done, I need to move these items and put them in the other drawer. So let's get that done. So, aside from the sound of the uh, wind, I will now go through a lot, a lot, lot, lot of our herbs and spices check dates um, and see how they're going. I had planned on putting this off until I had all lovely matchy matchy spice jars and in a nice way to arrange them in the drawer, but A, that was just my way of putting off doing what I needed, knew needed to be done. B, that can get quite expensive. And C, I couldn't actually find anything I really liked that had the, the shaky side and the spoony side. And David Grumpy over there is probably laughing at my <laughs> use of languages. So, <laughs> enjoy watching me go through herbs and spices and check dates. And it is the mace I have to keep regardless how out of date it is. They, uh, yeah. Yep. So, on with the show. The rare how to find these dice mace. Here comes the rain. So now that I've reduced that ridiculous amount of spices and herbs and flavourings down to a ridiculously small amount, which I'll show you in a minute, I now have to write down all of these so I know what we need to replace. I shall return. That is the drawer that I'm going, that I've just finished. This, I have to actually step back this summer. This 
is how much I'm getting rid of. There's a lot of double ups in there and a lot of them were out of date. Some were even completely unopened. On the upside, spice jars that I can wash and repurpose for, well not repurpose, just reuse. But all these packets and boxes are all out of date spices. This is the list. I might should take a photo of that and put it up as a still because, wow. And this is our new herb spice and seasoning drawer. What do you think, Grumpy? Is that all you're leaving me to cook with? <laughs> Well, we do need to replace stuff, but yes, not going to lie, my <laughs> when Grumpy and I met, my idea of seasoning was mixed herbs by the packet. I have learned to trust my, well, I wouldn't say trust my instincts, trust Grumpy's instincts, all the kids' instincts, in flavour with more stuff. So, yep. And, oh, here's something I'm really, really proud of. Grumpy made up his own mixed spice. I dehydrated some leeks, and we have leek powder, which goes beautifully in things like mashed potato. And this, Grumpy, what was the yellow stuff I made you? Oh, um... Pumpkin? Mandarin skins. Oh, yeah. For, for mandarin meat rub. So dehydrated mandarin skins, ground them up, and he now has that, which I should have labelled because it's a bit crap. So, right, that microwave plate is going to the donation box. I suspect there's a ring for it somewhere as well to go underneath it, and I'm sure somebody's broken their microwave plate and is thrifting looking for one. So, thank you very much for joining me on this. I'm actually quite pleased with... What I achieved, it was a very, very short period of time. It only took longer because I had to go and pick up Grumpy from work because not even he's crazy enough to ride his motorbike in 110 km an hour gusts of wind. I've got a list, as long as my arm, probably actually by thumbs, of things on my to declutter list. So hopefully I will be able to make a series out of this. Feel free to like, subscribe, share because hey we all need a bit of help with decluttering and sometimes it's really embarrassing i mean that spice drawer let's face it that was pretty embarrassing whoa okay that was sorry that was a bit of an balance from my many years disease so yeah now it looks much better it's in a far more practical place because it's it's at the top of the the cabinet right next to the stove so things can be got at fairly easily don't know why i didn't think of that i mean the utensils are on the other side Just not really thinking when we moved in but it's done now uh the oldest packet of spice that i found was expired in 2010 it's now 23 but hey who's judging so i'll leave you guys with that and i will see you in my next one <laughs> Helps if you turn the camera on, just saying. <laughs> That's the kind of one where you wanted the, the second camera running in the background to get and about you. <laughs> <laughs> Be wrong. So, now that I've turned the camera on and Grumpy's giving me shit about it, despite him completely not filming something last night. Ah! What? Saxon. Just because you hunted a bird doesn't mean you can hunt the camera. Oh, I did. Bring him here. <laughs> oh no, I won't go. And this. Look at the camera. This is the cause that you just shook. Because I caught my first bird today. And I was so proud of myself. Now I can hunt things like cameras. He doesn't care. Go see Daddy.